let's try installing this on another computer, guys. So, I have another computer, which is an HP stream. This would be perfect for Chrome OS. Um, I'm gonna plug it in real fast, and then we're going to try Chrome OS Flex on this. I feel like it might have Wi-Fi issues as well, which I hope not, but if it does, it does. So let me just grab my thing. And of course it's complaining about the network again. Or not, because it just connected again. Okay, let's try it on this computer. So, F9, I think this is F9. Yeah, this is F9. So let's boot to this. And see what happens. And we're gonna see how it runs on this computer. Will it even boot? Oh yeah, there it goes. I feel like this would be a better system to put it on because honestly these HP streams, I feel like they run better on Chrome OS because it's lighter weight than Windows and this, but let me tell you something about this HP stream. Now this was given to me back in like, I think 2017 by someone. And it doesn't like many operating systems. It had issues obviously on Windows 10. It had issues even with 8.1, it was being a bit weird. And Linux, the Wi-Fi never worked. And even on Windows, you have to like install some drivers. So like my fear with Chrome OS Flex is the Wi-Fi. Because I believe I also had some issues with it as well with the Wi-Fi. I think there was a time it worked, a time it didn't. There's a time it worked, but it kept like cutting out. So let's see if the Wi-Fi even works. I have a fear it's gonna say there's no networks. Yep, no networks. Okay, it's talking to me again. Wait, there are networks, but they're very weak. Well, let's just try installing this. No. This just has a fresh install of 8.1 with like nothing on it. So like, you can go ahead and wipe that. I really don't care. I might have to put that Wi-Fi dongle in here. It might be the only way to have this computer be somewhat usable. And same with this one, apparently, because this computer also requires you to have the dongle in just to work. Now, I might try this with more computers and let you guys know, or I might make a part two of actually using Chrome OS, and maybe I'll try it out and then tell you guys my experiences with it and what I think about it, so that you guys can know what, like, what I think if this is good. Keep in mind, this is still in development, so it's going to have bugs. So that's one thing, and I know that they do have a compatibility list, but just because it's not listed doesn't mean it won't work. I've actually not looked up these systems, but being honest, I don't- they're, they're so old that I'm not even sure if it would be on there, but maybe. I mean, I'm sure there are some HP streams that are on there, and I feel like all of them could, but this one has just always been weird with the Wi-Fi, like this particular one. Although this is a very old model, so maybe that's why. Okay guys, I'll be back when this is done. So it finished, and I don't know if you guys noticed this, but the trackpad works. And I know when you install Windows on this, it doesn't work at all until you install like some serial IO driver. So I've noticed that this Chrome OS Flex seems to already have the driver intact. 
I got this the chrome thing there again still and this thing it's gonna shut down let's actually see if it shuts down because on the compact it didn't even shut down it just went to a black screen and sat there so let's see if this actually shuts down I'm curious but yeah let's should probably remove this let's remove that it did shut down okay so it actually does shut down on this one, but it didn't shut that one down for some reason. Okay, well let's try and boot it up and see what happens here. Wow, my camera really has bad autofocus. Looks like it's booting. I might sign this in just to see what it's like, but like, pause the video or something. This video is already pretty long and that's kind of the problem when you're making videos, just showing it, because then it's a lot of waiting around. Well this seems a lot faster than the compact. This does show the network and it is good. So let's actually try it because it's getting a better signal now. Maybe this won't have issues. Maybe this is the solution because I don't even have the dongle plugged in and it seems to be getting an okay signal. So maybe on this stream, it's not a bad idea because look, although I can tell you the time is incorrect don't know about the date. I think it might be, I don't know. I don't want the optional. I think the date's correct, but the time's wrong. I don't know why. Checking for updates. I'm actually going to sign this into my account because I do want to try out the full experience, so I will sign this in because this computer is better suited, so I will be right back. All right, guys, I finally signed in after like 10 minutes of struggling to sign in because it wasn't giving me the notification to verify and then it wasn't. I wasn't wanting to log in and it was telling me to plug my phone in the computer and then it wouldn't work and then I had to try and get a security code which didn't work at first but now finally I got it working after like struggling with it so I guess yeah this really is buggy so I find it weird though how it was wanting me to like plug it in the computer and stuff like that was a bit weird but anyways, it says you want to sync your Chromebook and all that, which obviously, let's have it sync everything. So agree and continue. Honestly, I'll just let it do the, the, the hardware data for Chrome OS Flex because that'll help them develop it better. So I'll just leave that on. Loading Google Assistant. What is it doing? Well, let's see. I have no idea. Google Assistant. Looks like we already set it up on another device. Okay. Sure. Eh. I don't want to use Hey Google. Um. My phone heard me say that, apparently. <laughs> it was like, it can't do that, you're recording a video right now. Okay. I really don't want to be signed up for that. Get started. Oh boy. I cannot show that because it's showing, it showed my Hangouts, which probably is personal information. Um, here we go. Welcome to my Chrome OS device. There is 
a notification, which I don't know where that is. I don't know how to access that. But you can see it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Oh, you got screen capture on Chrome OS. This is pretty cool. Why is it connected to my Pixel 3? I'm not even on that phone. I wonder if there's a way I can change it. That is... That is weird. Yeah, this is connected to the wrong phone. I don't know how it managed to pull from that phone because I'm not I'm not even on that phone. Maybe I left it on by accident and it was trying to verify with that phone potentially. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Is there a way to change it? Let me go back. I, can, I cannot find it. We'll figure that out later. Maybe there's another phone I can configure it with. Or I can disconnect it. But let's not worry about that right now. Um, so... You can see that this tells you about Chrome OS or Chrome OS Flex. I bet it's similar to Chrome OS. But basically just gives you some, you know, tips on how to use it, things like that. But we also got Chrome, which is the most important thing. And let's see, let's load up YouTube or something and see how fast it is. Not very fast, but then again, this is a really old computer, so... Not a very good computer, I should say. And I normally don't use Chrome, so I know that all the bookmarks and everything is probably out of date because I have not used this in a while. It's also on the wrong Google account. Um, sure, you can allow notifications, I don't care. But yeah, this is on the wrong account. Which I can fix later. Apparently I have a security recommendation. I will check that out later and see what it wants me to do. But let's just explore this. Whoa. I don't know if messages is going to show my actual messages. I'm going to click on it and move this down in case it does show my messages. I don't want it to actually show it. Oh, it wants me to... Oh, you can apparently message from your computer on the third message here. I can open the Messages app and scan a code on my phone and it syncs it with the computer, which is pretty cool. So I can basically text on here. What is this? I don't know why it's showing my old phone here. I have no idea how that connected. I probably left it on or something. Who knows? It didn't pull my new phone, which is kind of strange. I mean, it can be weird sometimes. Twitter's on here, apparently. YouTube. Wait. The Play Store? Oh no, it's through the web browser. I was going to say for a second. I thought Google Play apps weren't on Chrome OS Flex. This looks old. Why does this look old? Did Google not update the site for the Play Store? Like, this looks ancient. I, I, I don't even know. But they got other things on here. 
like mainly Google Apps. Yeah, it's mainly just the Google Apps right now, as you can see. I mean, we do have the settings on here, which is pretty cool, I guess, right? It says about Chrome OS, not Chrome OS Flex, so that's interesting. And then a ton of settings. You can change the background. They've got assistance stuff. There's a lot of options here. So how about this? I'll probably use this for maybe a few weeks or so or, one, or however long I want to use it. And maybe I'll make a follow-up video to this. You know, I find it funny how it says it mobile data, but this doesn't have a data connection. Unless somehow it can link with your phone, which I'm going to try and figure out how to link my actual phone instead of my old one. Because for some reason, my old phone is linked. I don't know why. But that's kind of weird. I don't know if this was one of the wallpapers that they provide or if this was one of my wallpapers I set before. I actually don't know where this came from, but it's probably one of the default ones because I don't remember this. I think it is the default one. Oh, update available. Okay, I'll see how fast it updates. Well, I click that and it's just boom, like instant. Like the second I clicked it, it just restarted. I think it was a good choice of putting Chrome OS Flex on the stream. The touchpad works, the Wi-Fi works, everything seems to work out of the box. And I know I've tried a Chrome OS type on here, like cloud ready. And I remember it having some problems. And I know this is based on cloud ready but yet this is working better than Cloud Ready. So I think it was a good idea. What is it doing? Oh, it's having me unlock it. Okay. Whatever that means. But as you can see, it's working pretty well so far. I haven't had a Chromebook in a while. I know I borrowed a Chromebook before. Oh, this looks different. This looks totally different from what I remember seeing. What Chrome version are we on? Chrome 101. But this is the new Chrome. I have not used Chrome in a while, so like, I can't tell what the differences are off the bat. But, I'd say that's pretty cool. But yeah, I will make a follow-up video. I've been, this will probably be like a 30 minute video, even longer. So I'm gonna stop the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And maybe I'll make this two parts because of how long it is. And bye-bye for now.